Let's get this thing going. Check one, two. The Hip Hop Study Hall podcast with DJ Eakin starts now. About hip hop. Uh, this popped off, man. Um, because I know I know the day is moving for you. It's DJ Eakin, man. This Hip Hop Study Hall podcast, man. A lot moving around right here, and I am fortunate enough today to have a dude that dude. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Let me tell you how long ago since it, well, actually seen you and we got an interview popped off. Maybe like. 0506 you came through here and me and you were in the back studio of iHeartRadio down here in Tampa. Did I lose him? Wow. No, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I think I lost your video. No, I got you. I'll be right back. Here we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude. So, you know, it, it's been a minute. So, so it's a pleasure to have my man Jim Jones here and and let's get right into it, man. What's popping off right now? We set the trends. You yeah. Migos, DJ Drama, we got a new mix. That's a single. We got a whole new mixtape popping off. Um, yes. Let's talk a little bit first off before we go even into, let's talk about the history of your relationship with Drama, first of all, and your relationship with Migos. Like, how did how did this, because it doesn't seem like the, the normal thing that would happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you move around the space a bunch, and if people know your history, they know your relationship, dude. But everybody don't understand, like, you know, that, that, how your relationship with, you know, like Amigos would come, you know, I know they move around the space too, and, and drama. So how did this all just come about? How did this all come about? Well, I've known drama for years. I've, I've had a, I've had a gangsta grill out in like 06. So right. it's not, it's not nothing new for us. This is the, we, we were revisiting uh, things that we were already into. Um, shout out to Amigos. Amigos been, been the guys for a minute now. Dig, so shout out to all of them. Um, take off. Um, it's my guy, man. He's, in the city one day asked me where I was at. Like, yo, where you at? I'm gonna pull up on you. One thing led to another. End up doing a record together. That led to take off. I mean, to, it led to Offset and Quavo hitting me up. Like, nah, we gotta get on that. So I'm I'm grateful, man. Shout out to uh, all amigos, all three of them, man. Uh, pretty dope individuals. And this one feels like it's moving. Uh, what's the word we like to use? Organically, like it, like it's kind of. And I, th- that's got to feel good because, you know, I, and you've been in this game long enough to see when records really have to be, not that you don't have to work, but when records have to be work because, you know, because like a club dude ain't messing with it or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's not getting no yes. streams. This one seems to be moving yes. organically. So how does that feel? That feels great. It feels great. I know um, we're in a young in a young game. It's always been a young game, but that doesn't mean that you can't uh, jump in, in, in the loop. Um, feels good to be receptive feel good to have the record researching on radio going to club they banging it hear it in the streets um it's no it's no better feeling today i've been putting in work for a long time um had my own spats of what i was going through personally but overall it'll still be here still be relevant still be pushing the issue um somebody told me we can't stay motivated stay consistent and that's all i've been trying to do this record seems like it fits you too and and let me let me tell you exactly why i say that because the song title is We Set the Trends, right? And not everybody can say that they have done what you and Dipset have done for the industry, right? Dude, a lot of people have made dope records. But yes. I would be amiss because I know my history to not understand that Dipset was a movement. You understand? And, and I'm, I'm saying you understand it because that's just the way I talk, and I know you do. So when you go in and you decide to call this record We Set the Trends, did, was that thought in your mind as well? Nah, well, when he did the record, because it was all takeoff, jumping on, like, yo, I like that, put that beat up, that's the beat right there, and he going crazy. Okay. But when he went crazy, and he was like, we set the trends, and it was perfect. I don't right. know if he knew what he was doing, if it was premeditated on his half, but he definitely put it out there for, it. it's, it's natural. I mean, shit, we've been doing that for so long, it was, it was, it was a perfect fit. Yo, it's your man DJ Eakin right here at Hip Hop Study Hall. I don't want you, not you, not anybody, not your friends or anybody that you care about to miss any of the dope stuff that's happening here at Hip Hop Study Hall, alright? So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like now, make it happen, alright? So you can stay in the know.